Assalamu alaikum viewers this is engineer Khalikul Rahman and welcome to my channel Civil C. Viewers today I am going to discuss about the second part of the system configuration primary of P6. So this part comprises of three parts in which I am going to discuss about the how you can define new calendar in primary of P6, how you will define frequency and how you will define unit of measure. So let's start our video. First of all go to enterprise click on calendars and here you can see that three type of calendar has been shown on the screen global resource and project the global calendar is used for multiple projects that you that you can use it for multiple projects at a time this is called the global calendar the source calendar is used for a certain resource some specific resource due to its limitation and time you can use a resource calendar to specify that calendar to resource as project the project calendar is used for single project because of its requirement, its unique requirement. It can be used for a single project. So, if you are going to work on calendar in global, then you have to select a calendar that is globally applied to all the project and that meet the requirement for the project or a project in which you are going to work. So. If you are going to work six days a week, then you will first of all select a calendar that resembles most similar to your requirement. So here there are three to four calendar already been there. So our working plan is six days. So work six days per week. It's already been has there. So we are going to modify it if it's no calendar. Seem, seems resemblance to our requirement then we we'll go to add and then add a new calendar here you can click on add and select the most relevant most relevant nearly relevant calendar that you will have you will feel ease to modify it and then you will select it and click on add button here you can add so no i am not going to add a new calendar i am going to modify it according to our requirement so work six days per week is already selected go to modify and here you can see that two parameters shown total work hours per day it's mean how many hours you are going to work per day it will be eight hours nine hours ten hours eleven or twelve whatever it is it's depend upon your urgency and your requirement of the project so on right side it is detailed work hours per day it means that the total work hour on a day, suppose it is 10 hours per day. And the detail of the 10 hours in which duration, in which time limit, we are going to work and we are going to non-work. So, it this shows the detail. So, for example, if you click on that and click on this. So, this is a 24 hour breakdown of the day in which time limit we are going to work and in which time limit we are going to not work. So non-work has been shown here standard non-work and exception. Exception is what for example if Sunday is a non-working day that is non-work. If Sunday is a non-working day and for due to some requirement due to some emergency we are going to work we have to plan to work on Sunday then it will come under the exception. Suppose on 15th of September 2024 we are going to work on Sunday. So this will click on we will click on work and it will come under the you can see that white exception will come under the exception and we click on non-work then we'll, the color will be same. So click on 13th of September Friday it will give us the breakdown of the work hours of a day. For example if we are want to change this day work or schedule so we can select it from here for example if we are not going to work from 5 to 6 pm then it will click here we will click here and select it as normal the color will you can see that color will change to gray it means that half hour and also click on the second portion of the half hour it's, you can see that the color changes to gray and it means that this or on 13th of September Friday we are not going to work so 
click on OK and it will save. So we will change it as work again. Change it as work again. This is for a single day. If you want to select for the whole week, go to work and here you can select from Monday to Saturday. You are going to work, you have a calendar from Monday to Saturday. Then you will select all up till Saturday. And here you can change. Click here, non work, click here and select non work. You can see that this is changes into gray and click on OK. This will change the from 9 hour work to 8 hour work, 1 hour reduced. That is from 5 to 6 pm. So, convert is at as work to click OK. OK. There is currently 10 hours per day. Currently, this hour is 10 hours per day. And if I am going to delete one hour per day. If I am going to delete one hour per day, then it will change it into nine. So go. This you can see that ten hours per day. Here you can. Okay. Go to detail work hour per day. Work per hour. And you can select from Monday to Saturday. And we are not going to work from. 5 to 6, select OK and select here. Then you can see that one hour has been reduced and the work hour per day is shifted to 9. And here you can also see that 9 hours per day. Here is the time period. Time period is 9 hours per day and in a week it will be multiplied to 9 and then this hours per month this will multiply to four weeks we are going to work four weeks per month and this will multiply per hour then we are multiply this per month hours to 12 then this will be this will set as manual you can multiply and change their values okay so in this lecture in calendar to discuss about the weekly schedule working hours per day working hours means this is the total work hour per day national holiday shifting hour so this detail is requirement of the if you are going to work in shift hours then this is important how we work divide our work in shifts and if the activity is of few hours then we will plan detail plan it detail on which hours we are going to complete our activity so this is all about the calendar setting and next we are going to discuss about the how we will define our currency okay in currencies for currencies go to admin currencies and you can see that the window appears on the screen and there are columns this is base base means the currency which you have defined during installation of your software the currency base currency is united states dollar us dollar and the currency id by which the currency has been denoted is listed here in this column and the currency name the currency symbol exchange rate for exchange rate, the one currency is set as a base, that is US dollar. And based on this, we are going to define our currency. For example, one US dollar is equal to 290 Pakistan rupees. So the exchange rate will be the 290. So if we are going to work in Pakistani rupee, then check if it is there or not. Okay, Pakistani rupees is not there. So we are going to define it. Click on the add button. Here you can write PKR Pakistani rupee and write P A K I S T A N I R U P W E Pakistani rupee. So select the symbol R S and exchange rate for example 295. You can write 295. Whatever the rate is, current rate you can write it. I have just write it may be little a bit change from the present rate but I have 
by 295 just for the understanding it's 295 okay so this is the general this is the appearance and in general this is pkr pakistani rupee this is symbol rs and 295 and in general you can see that currency id ekr currency name currency symbol and the exchange rate and in appearance this is decimal number of decimal places there are two decimal places like 180.50 digit grouping and symbol this is denoted by comma and the positive currency is shown by suppose this is the positive currency and shown by 1.1 and this is negative currency then be shown by close bracket this is all about from the currency and now close it in order to assign it go to the edit to this preferences and here you can click on currency select it the currency Which you are going to work is PKR, Pakistani rupees, and you can see that show currency symbol RS, show decimals 0.00, and click on the close. So your currency is also been assigned. So this is all about the currency defining currency and assigning setup in system configuration. So the next part is defining unit of measures. Okay, in order to define unit of measures. go to admin admin categories click on the unit of measures and click on add here you can add the units which you are going to use in your project for the quantity measurement cft to be put add sft RFT at O N tons K T kilogram. So, like these, you can add number of units which are going to use in your project. So, this is all about the units. How you can add new units. So this is the end of the today's lecture. of system configuration in which you learn how to define new calendar and new currency defining currency and assigning it and also defining of unit of measures so hope this video found informative we'll shortly coming back with the next part of the system configuration allah hafiz